A Glove for a Merman, a folktale from Norway. The fishing boat was way out at sea. Fishing. Cold waters up there, cold waters. All the people fishing had gloves on to pull up the nets, pull in the ropes, do all the work up on the deck. And on the day of the story, all the people fishing, except for one, were on one side of the boat. The one on the other side, I'm not sure why was there. Saw a hand come up out of the water. A hand shivering, shivering with the cold. Up out of the water. And the fisherman took off his glove and put it on this hand. And the hand kind of waved and went back under. And the fisherman looked and oh. It was a merman, a merman, swimming off. Wow. Did you see that? Did you see that? I just saw a merman. Come over, look. They all looked. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. No, it was. He, he put his hand up. He was, he was cold. See, I, I'm missing that glove. I put, I put, put, a, put my glove on his hand so he'd be warmer. You lost your glove? Now you're saying a merman has it? Yeah, right, yeah. So you lost your glove. Oh, you're gonna have a cold hand. The rest of the day went by. They brought the boat back in. They pulled it up onto the beach. They looked at each other and said, well, think we need to pull it up on the hill? Only if it storms, it'll be fine down on the beach if it's no rain. They all looked up at the sky, clear. It should be okay. Let's leave it down here. We've had a long day. We don't need to pull that boat up on the hill for nothing. They ate their supper. They sat outside, it got dark. Stars in the sky, oh good. We're okay with our boat on the beach, thank goodness. Let's go to sleep. They went into the bunkhouse, each had their own new bed, fell asleep. In the middle of the night, the one who had given away his glove heard the door open of the bunkhouse. And he heard us kind of walking like <laughs> walking down between the beds. And then he heard a voice. Oh, one who gave your glove to me. Beware, beware a storm at sea. Oh, one who gave your glove to me. Beware, beware, storm at sea. And the door closed. And the fisherman jumped up, started waking up everybody else. Wake up, wake up, we've got to move the boat. Wake up, wake up, we've got to move the boat. Come on, come on, let's move the boat now. Now, there's gonna be a storm, I know it, I know it, there's gonna be a storm. 
Do you think there's going to be a storm? You have a dream about a storm? Now you think there's going to be a storm? There's going to be a storm! They went outside. Stars in the sky. Oh, friend. You must have been dream. No! No, please, please, please. I know there's stars in the sky right now, but please, please believe me. Let's move the boat. Come on, come on. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop talking until we move the boat. Okay. They moved the boat, dragged it from the beach in the middle of the night, up the hill. They came back to the beach. They said, okay. It is still not thunder, thunder roaring, lightning flashing out across the sea. Look at those thunderous clouds darkening the sky, covering the starlight. Here comes the waves. They ran up the hill and watched as the beach was covered with gigantic waves, their boat would have been destroyed. How did you know? How did you know? I helped someone and they helped me. He said, and they scratched their heads, and that's the story.